Right on time for Americans' Independence Day, the 4th of July, their ship finally came in. After a deployment two months longer than planned, the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Dwight D. Eisenhower has arrived back in its East Coast home port, Norfolk, Virginia. The families of more than 5,000 sailors had been waiting, some coming from as far away as the western state of Arizona. Very excited to see my son. You're going to make me cry, so don't do this to me. <laughs> Apart from a welcome holiday and flight deck resurfacing in December, the Ike was at sea for nearly 11 months. Its relief, the carrier Nimitz, was sidelined for repairs. During their time at sea, some crewmen became parents. Where there's a will, there's a way. First time you're holding the baby? Yes, sir. It is. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. How old is she? Ten weeks. The ship launched in 1975, whose duties have taken it to theaters of tension involving Iran, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Iraq, and the Caribbean, on its latest mission has been supporting coalition forces in Afghanistan, while in the Arabian Gulf. On the 4th of July, America celebrates its freedom and independence, and today, thousands of families will be reunited but the next mission of the USS Eisenhower is already scheduled. Stefan Grobe, Euronews, Norfolk, Virginia.